Golden LaCroix. Boy, it has been an active day across the Northwest and particularly the Oregon coast. Check this out. This is a viewer submitted photo from Ashley Chard out toward areas of Coos Bay. You can actually see the lowering wall cloud and we even had water spouts out toward the Oregon coast. This is Coos Bay. This is up the coast, but we're going to take a little trip south down towards Gold Beach and here's the actual water spout right here. You can see the lowering wall cloud. We're actually going to go back to the first image. Uh, if you can see this here, you have the lowering wall cloud here. Eventually the water spout forms right on the edge right there and down towards Gold Beach. This is a separate cell. You can actually see where it lowered out of the wall cloud, spun up the brief water spout out there. There's actually some videos on there from the Gold Beach uh, community Facebook page as well. So I would encourage you to check that out. And it's all due to this very active storm system that moved in. We've been kind of talking about this tropical rich moisture. Whenever you get this type of convection, uh, unstable atmosphere, we can get uh, spin ups like this. And that's what we saw throughout the course of the day for the Oregon coast. We even had some down towards areas of Eureka as well. And here's the storm system still hanging out. It started to move in as early as Saturday and it's still spinning up uh, active thunderstorms to the northern Oregon coast and up into portions of Washington. But eventually behind this is going to be some much colder air. And we are talking about temperatures dropping back down into the 30s, believe it or not, as we head towards tomorrow morning. Activity, though, starting to wane as we're starting to get some of that drier air moving in across the region. But we still are expecting some more showers as we wake up tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, though, we're going to clear the skies out completely. So here's the main area of low pressure I just showed you. It's going to start moving inland after midnight tonight. We get a quick burst of rain areas of Eugene south into Roseburg, and then we're going to be dealing with some lingering snow showers up into portions of the Cascades, generally about three inches up toward uh, Sanium Pass, and then we clear things out. You can see as we head towards Wednesday afternoon, and especially as we head towards Wednesday morning, we are going to be tracking much colder temperatures, and that is going to be problematic, especially if you're driving over those passes. So as we head into Tuesday, clearing skies toward the afternoon, I would expect uh, a lot sooner for the Oregon coast, possibly towards 11, 12 o'clock up into the Cascades. It's going to hang on for a little bit as we still have that or graphic lift. So we are expecting cloud cover to be persistent up into the Cascades, but eventually clearing out overnight at night. So rain chances are going to continue, but we're not expecting the heavy rain like what we have been seeing due to the nature of where this air mass is coming in more of a shower basis as we head towards Sunday and next week. But the Ducks game does look like it's going to stay dry as we head towards Saturday. Most rain chances look like they're going to hold off until Sunday night. So I was talking about the orientation of the jet stream, and this is why we've been seeing the heavy rain, the convective style precipitation, and even almost a tropical fill in the air like we had on Saturday because the jet stream is oriented from the southwest toward the northeast, right out of the tropics, right out of Hawaii, and that's why it kind of felt a little bit muggy on Saturday. As we head towards next week, we still get the jet stream right over us, so that means we're still going to see shower chances, but it's coming out of the Gulf of Alaska, so we're not expecting as high moisture content, and that results in lighter rainfall as we head into next weekend. Your seven day forecast for the coast, a little bit quieter weather, uh, no water spouts tomorrow, hopefully, but it's 54 degrees as we head towards Wednesday, about 58 low level clouds and fog still quite persistent out there for areas of Roseburg. Much cooler air starting to move back in, especially by Thursday morning. We're back down to around 34 degrees, but we are tracking shower chances again next weekend. Up into the Cascades, a reminder, snowy passes the next few days. Also a cold start. My goodness, 70 degrees on Wednesday morning. And for areas of Eugene and Corvallis, we do get a little bit of sunshine as we head towards Wednesday, but I want you to zone in on Thursday morning. It's going to be about 34 degrees here, so the winter lovers, you get a little taste of winter this week. Uh, uh, no, thanks. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> See, I'm pro winter here, and she's like, nope. No, thank summer, you. I'm a summer baby. All right, Holden, thank you. Yep.